Today we're going to talk about the supinated grip barbell row, which is one of my favorite back exercises of all time. We're going to talk about muscles targeted, how to set up for the exercise, how to perform the exercise, some common mistakes and how to fix them, and make sure to stick around to the end where we're going to talk about a couple of advanced strategies so that you can get the most gains out of this exercise. What's up guys, Ryan here at TradeawayTraining.com where we help busy professionals get more results in less time through online training. Now before we begin, if you want more information on body transforming training and nutrition topics, consider subscribing. Now to start with, let's talk anatomy because there's a lot of confusion around which back exercises target which back muscles. This is actually something I was confused with for several years, so let's clear up the confusion. All rows target the lats, traps, rear delts, and biceps. But in order to simplify things, we're gonna ignore the bicep component for now. Focusing on the back, the lats handle the shoulder extension component, the traps handle the scapular retraction component, and the rear delts handle the transverse shoulder abduction component. While all rows do hit each of these three muscle groups, different types of rows will change which of these muscle groups is the primary target. Wider grip rows that have the elbows flared out primarily target the traps and rear delts, while narrower grip rows that have the elbows tucked in primarily target the lats. There's a simple rule that you can use if you ever forget this. Your elbows will point in the same direction as the emphasis of the exercise. If your elbows are higher and flared out, the emphasis is higher on your back, meaning you're primarily targeting the traps and rear delts. If your elbows are lower and tucked in, the emphasis is lower on your back, meaning you're primarily targeting the lats. If you are paying close attention, then you already know that the supinated grip barbell row is going to be primarily targeting the lats and will secondarily be targeting the traps, rear delts, and biceps. So now that we know what muscles we're targeting, let's talk about how to set up for and perform the exercise. Load weight onto a barbell. This exercise is well suited for moderate weights in the six to 12 rep range. Center yourself in front of the bar with a hip width stance. The bar should be over your midfoot and your shins should be vertical. Bend over at the hips, keeping your spine neutral. Grab the bar with a supinated or palms up grip just outside of your legs. Keeping your knees slightly bent, pick the bar up off the floor. Your back should be at a 30 to 40 degree angle with the floor. This is the starting position for the movement. To initiate the movement, pull the bar up and in towards your waist. It may be helpful to think about pulling through the elbows. Pulling up and in rather than straight up will ensure the emphasis stays on the lats, which is the primary target of this exercise. Be sure to keep the spine neutral. It's easy to allow the back to round in this exercise. You can avoid this by anteriorly tilting the hips or popping the butt up. Be careful not to cheat by bumping your knees or raising your back on the way up. If you're doing this, drop the weight and focus on form or you may be risking a low back injury. And trust me, low back injuries aren't very fun. When the bar reaches your waist, slowly lower the bar back to the starting position. This is actually a good place to talk about one of the advanced techniques that I mentioned earlier. Because you're bent over in this exercise, it's not necessarily advisable to load this exercise very heavily. That said, we can't just keep doing the same thing over and over and expect to keep getting results. We need a way that we can progressively make the exercise more difficult. One way that we can do this is by performing accentuated eccentrics. I talked about what this means in a previous video that you can watch by clicking this card. But for the purposes of this video, what we can do is simply slow down the eccentric 
or downward phase of the rep. Aim to make the downward phase take three to four seconds. This will allow us to make the exercise more difficult without the need to add weight. The other, even more advanced technique adds an extra component to the exercise. This is an exercise that I made up that I call the eccentric, accentuated, supinated deadlift row. In this exercise, you'll add a spinal extension component similar to if you were performing a Romanian deadlift. Start in the same position I outlined earlier, but lift the weight explosively while also purposefully raising your torso. Be very careful not to jerk your low back. When you reach the top of the movement, let the weight slowly descend while leaning forward until the weight almost touches the floor. This will extend the range of motion and allow for an even longer eccentric. The eccentric phase should take four to five seconds. Now one note that I do want to reiterate here is that this is a very advanced technique and I would not advise that you try it until you fully mastered the standard supinated grip barbell row. And if you have a history of low back pain, then I would not advise you try this exercise at all. Question of the day, what's your favorite row variation? Let me know down in the comments. Mine is definitely the deadlift row with the supinated grip cable row being a close second. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, you can check out the lat prayer video, which I did last week, or you can check out my exercise tutorial playlist, or you can check us out on the Treadway Training blogcast. We're there every Sunday at 3 p.m. That's treadawaytraining.com slash blog. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you tomorrow. The other, the other, The other, 